A lot of people who are thinking about trying the carnivore diet or who are new to the carnivore diet wonder about vitamin C. They wonder uh, how it's possible or if it's possible to get adequate amounts of vitamin C eating meat only. Um, and I have a lot of people ask me that question. And the answer is yes, uh, you, it is possible to get enough vitamin C on a carnivore diet and it's not very difficult. So it turns out that um, in general, people who are vitamin C deficiency can uh, suffer from some serious health uh, problems, uh, including scurvy, which can even be fatal. Many people centuries ago uh, passed away, died from scurvy <clears throat> on <clears throat> traveling overseas who didn't have access to citrus fruits and uh, and other, other foods with vitamin C in them. But it turns out that people need a significant amount of vitamin C when they're eating carbohydrates. So humans who don't eat carbohydrates, who are on a carnivore diet, a meat-only diet, uh, it turns out that our um, need or requirement for vitamin C is much, much less than the average carbohydrate-consuming human. Um, the government doesn't tell us that, the RDA uh, doesn't tell us that, so we assume that we need a good amount of, of vitamin C as a carnivore in order to stave off a disease and scurvy and other symptoms of vitamin C deficiency, but it, but it turns out that we need actually very low levels or very small amounts of vitamin C uh, to, <clears throat> um, to remain healthy and to not experience symptoms. Um, and you don't, as a carnivore, you don't need to worry about uh, consuming uh, animal items or animal foods that have higher amounts of vitamin C, such as organ meats, liver, uh, things of that, that nature. There are plenty of uh, long-term carnivores who are eating just basically beef, lamb, uh, red meat, and um, are not supplementing, are not eating foods that are higher in vitamin C and they have no issues. Uh, I've My experience has been the same. So uh, I've been carnivore for almost four years now, and predominantly what I'm eating, 98% of what I eat is um, fatty beef, uh, occasionally occasionally lamb, and every once in a while, though I haven't in, in, you know, in some time, uh, maybe a little bit of pork or a little, little bit of seafood, um, uh, a little bit of salmon sashimi, but predominantly what I eat is uh, fatty beef. Um, again, I'm exhibiting no signs or symptoms of vitamin C or any other deficiency, any other nutrient deficiency. Um, no signs of scurvy, um, no initial uh, warning signs as well. Um, so I'm not worried about my vitamin C intake. I'm not worried about the uh, my intake of any other uh, vitamin or mineral. <clears throat> Um, I don't follow uh, the RDAs because I think they're not accurate. Um, they might be somewhat accurate for the average uh, carbohydrate and processed food uh, consuming human, but certainly not for humans who are consuming an optimal um, species appropriate diet, uh, which is high fat carnivore. Um, so I know that as long as I focus on eating fatty red meat, so fatty beef and lamb, all of my nutrient needs are gonna be met. 100% of my nutrient needs are gonna be met without me having to supplement or worry about vitamins, minerals, um, macronutrients, and so forth. So uh, it's very simple. Um, you don't need to worry about your vitamin, T, vitamin C or any other vitamin or mineral intake, um, including electrolytes um, while on a carnivore diet as long as you're eating sufficient amounts of fat and meat, um, preferably beef, lamb, bison, thing, things of that nature, uh, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be feeling excellent, you're gonna be functioning uh, very well, and you're gonna be thriving.